Dear viewers, greetings. In this present video, we are going to see about atomic force microscopy. In short form, it is called as AFM. Atomic force microscope. Atomic force microscopy is a very powerful microscopy technique and it is used to acquire high resolution images at the nanoscale to better understand the properties of various matters. The atomic force microscopy is a type of scanning probe microscope whose primary role includes measuring properties such as uh, magnetism, height and friction. Uh, atomic force microscope is very versatile in nature uh, because uh, it cannot only uh, image in three-dimensional topography but it also provides various types of surface measurements to the needs for the scientist as well as the engineers. The resolution of the atomic force microscope is 1 nanometer and this AFM can generate images at atomic resolution with angstrom scale resolution height information with minimum sample preparation. Uh, atomic force microscope images can resolve an image a million times smaller than a human has. Next is uh, history of atomic force microscopy. Atomic force microscopy was first introduced in a breakthrough experiment in 1986. Uh, Binnig and Heinrich Rohr from IMB Research had earlier generated a Nobel Prize uh, for, the, for their invention of scanning tunneling microscope. However, the scanning tunneling microscope could not uh, only image uh, metal or semiconductor materials. Uh, therefore, uh, Gerd Binnig along with Christopher Gerber and Calvin Quirt developed the atomic force microscope in the year 1986. Atomic force microscope was uh, first used experimentally in the year 1986 and it was uh, put on the market for commercial sale in 1989. The next is uh, mode of action. Atomic force microscope have two mode of action. One is static mode or contact mode and the second one is dynamic mode and this is uh, static mode or uh, contact mode. Uh, the atomic force microscopy a tip is in contact with the sample surface uh, when it is scanned. The tip is dragged across the sample like a needle and the tip acts like an elastic compressing and stretching when it encounters a force induced by the sample surface. The changes in the cantilever uh, deflect the laser beam which is imaged on the photodetector. Uh, soft materials are deflected further as, uh, as the force is supplied. So, Atomic force microscopy tips are uh, generally made from the soft materials. Uh, but since the tip is in contact with the sample, uh, it is scanned across. The sample can be damaged very easily. Uh, the static mode is uh, mostly used to, to image hot samples to obtain topographical information. The next to the second mode of action of atomic force microscopy is dynamic mode. Uh, in dynamic mode, the cantilever is driven to oscillate at a certain frequency instead of being static. Uh, with the dynamic mode of operation, uh, there are two modes. One is tapping mode and this another one is non-contact mode. Uh, these two modes are widely employed. This is uh, tapping mode. Uh, in the tapping mode, the tip oscillates up and down above the surface of the sample. The tip comes in contact with the sample at its lowest point of oscillation by tapping the surface of the sample. The repulsive forces are detected when the tip taps the surface uh, while attractive forces are uh, detected at the peak of oscillation. The tapping more generally uh, lessen the damage done to the surface and the tip compared to the contact mode. This technique is used to, to image the formation of molecules in chemistry among many other applications. And next is the non-contact mode. In non-contact mode, the tip of the centilever uh, does not contact the sample surface. This is the thing. Uh, the cantilever is driven to oscillate above the surface of the sample. Therefore, the tip does not uh, cause any damage to the sample. In non-contact mode, uh, the driving motion of the cantilever is either amplitude modulated or frequency modulated. And this image uh, shows the working principle of atomic force microscopy. Uh, first, 
uh, the centilever is used as a force sensor and when the tip of the centilever is scanned across the sample the tips act as an elastic uh, depending on the amount of uh, force between the tip and the sample the centilever compresses and stretches the atomic force microscopy is constructed with a, a laser or laser beam deflection system and this laser is uh, reflected from the back of the atomic force microscopy lever uh, to the sensitive detector uh, they are made from uh, silicon compounds uh, with a tip radius of about 10 nanometer and uh, the photo detector records the changes to the reflected laser beam position uh, which is proportional to the movement of the centilever and finally a detailed topographical image of the sample can be captured by scanning across the surface of the material applications of atomic force microscopy uh, atomic force microscopy has been used in various uh, disciplines in natural sciences such as uh, solid state physics semiconductor studies molecular engineering polymer chemistry surface chemistry molecular biology cell biology medicine and physics uh, some of these application includes uh, identifying atoms from samples evaluating force interaction between atoms studying the physical change in the properties of atoms uh, studying the structural and mechanical properties of uh, protein complexes and assemblies such as uh, microtubules and it is used to, to differentiate the cancer cells and normal cells and finally it is used for evaluating and differentiating the neighbor cells and their shapes and cell wall rigidity and the advantages of atomic force microscope includes uh, easy to prepare samples for observation atomic force microscope can be used in vacuums airs and liquids uh, measurement of uh, sample size is accurate and afm has a 3d imaging afm can be used to, to study the living or non living elements afm can be used to, to quantify the roughness of the surfaces and finally afm is used in dynamics environments and finally uh, some of the limitations of uh, atomic force microscopy it includes uh, AFM can only scan a single nano sized image at a time of about 150 into 150 nanometer and AFM have a low scanning time uh, which might cause uh, thermal drift of the various samples the tip of the sample can be damaged during the detection and finally AFM has a limited magnification and vertical range and that's all about the limitations of uh, atomic force microscopy dear viewers thank you for your listening and thank you for your support thank you